You want to start off? Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Go ahead, George. Coach, congratulations on the win. You have now secured a spot Recording in, in progress. Cup Champions Cup. Uh, you've made it to the Open Cup final. Uh, talk to me about what that means to you and the team. Uh, you know, when we set out this year, we talked about creating a, a winning culture. It was one of, you know, uh, one of the kind of the three things we, we continue to speak about. Um, and, you know, that included doing well in League's Cup and Open Cup. And, and of course, you know, the objective of uh, getting into the postseason. So this is just a, a really good step for, I think, this group and the organization in this moment to, to put ourselves uh, in a situation to play in the finals uh, after, you know, again, the year that we had last year and, and uh, you know, kind of the previous few years, uh, it shows that there's at least uh, some, some growth here. And, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't, it, it was not an easy game. Uh, they are, uh, they're, they're physical, they're cagey. Uh, you know, Pablo's a very good coach, and, and it's a good team, and they have a lot of weapons. And uh, and I thought for most of the night, uh, we uh, we played at a, at a high level, uh, and uh, created a, a, a bunch of opportunities, uh, plenty of shots to to win that game. And but they're a hard team to keep off the board, and they're gritty, so they they, they found their goal, and it was a little bit of a blow for us. And after the Charlotte game and, and, and a few of the, the games against the, the Mexican teams where we gave up late leads, uh, we've more times than not managed to stay steady and, and, and get through it. And that's a sign that uh, there's, there's real belief in, each, in, in the group and each other. And just, uh, again, a, a proud night for me and the staff and the organization. And um, you know, now we have to uh, enjoy it for the night. But, we play them again, and it's going to be a very difficult game, and, and I'm sure they're not going to be happy about it. And, and so we, uh, we have to refocus tomorrow. Uh, but it's just it's just uh, great to put this to, the, uh, to uh, be a part of an organization that's in the finals. It's hard to hard to get there. And then talk to us about you know how you play against such an aggressive team like them tonight. Um, how the team hustles for one another. It was collective. It was. It had to be collective. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're at home. We feel good at home. And you know, it was at times it was some of the best soccer we've played all year. And that's that's really encouraging. And it would have been nice to get the second, third when we have those opportunities. But we didn't, and we, and we found a, a way. It wasn't uh, in regular time, and guys were guys were gassed. You know, to, to go back to back, some of these guys, uh, a guy like Coco. You know, the energy levels that he had, and Nelson Quinones was uh, had a, had a very good game, and you know him and Coco stand out. Artur obviously did did an unbelievable job of locking things down and um, securing the ball, uh, second balls. The, the direct play caused us some trouble, but we were able to uh, deal with it and secure it, and then um, open them up and, and get good chances. But um, just uh, overall, good night, David. All right, looking forward. How do you manage the tired legs after playing a back-to-back? Well, we, we bring some fresh bodies in. I mean, they, we, these guys have not only gone back-to-back, but back-to-back with 100 and something minutes, and that's a, that's a very difficult thing to turn around for some guys. So we'll manage. We'll, we, it gives us a chance to look at some guys um, that will uh, uh, that that are excited to play, and and we'll go in there and, and we'll try to uh, try to get a result. Al, go ahead. No, hey, Coach. Uh, you guys will have a second chance at facing Lionel Messi. Just your thoughts on that matchup. They won? Hmm? Did they win? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't heard. Um, in penalties? Yeah. They got one back in the end? Yeah. Shootout, yeah. 3-3, Oh, my goodness. Um, OK, yeah. Uh, well, well, I don't know. We'll deal with that. <laughs> we got. We got we got time for that. Uh, you know, focus right now is um, you know, getting these guys back and, and uh, prepared. You know, as, as best we can for uh, a, a tough away trip in, in Salt Lake. So, uh, but it, it'll be fun. You know, it's it, it does add a little bit something. And the fact that 
um, Miami's resurgence and, and kind of the hoopla around this team. Rightfully so, it's been an epic run for them. And, uh, you know, we would, we would love to be the team that, that, that stops the train, but uh, it's going to be a, uh, it'll be a tough, tough match. Jesus. Coach, when RSO scored, did you think, here we go again, another, <laughs> like another mistake causes the lead to go away? No, it wasn't a here we go again. I mean, we, we, we've, we've, you know, we've showed throughout this year that when we, teams come back and score, we, we've done okay. You know, more times than not, we've, we've been able to manage that and, and either respond or, or, or get the win. You know, some of them have been in, in PK shootouts, but uh, no, I, I, you know, I, the, the way the game was going, I knew we'd get some chances. Uh, the, you know, momentum did shift there for a second. And, um, but uh, the way it happened, you know, it was at a run of play and uh, we had the right numbers in the box. But again, they're, they're a scrappy team. They got good, good players, a high level. They've really upgraded in the summer. And uh, to keep them off the board right now is, is very, very difficult. When Hector exited the game, Coco sort of stepped up. Is that what you thought would, would happen, that he would step up? <laughs> I wish coaching worked on it. Yeah, I'll bring him out, and then Coco will go score a goal. Um, no. It, it, uh, Hector was cramping, and you could see it was, you know, I pushed those guys physically to a point uh, right to the edge. And it, things were going, you know, I could have made some earlier subs, but uh, we were playing – very well, and we were breaking lines, and we were still getting chances, and we still had the right cover uh, for the most part. Uh, and um, you know, but at, at some point, you know, he's uh, he's played some real minutes over the last two, and and uh, the, the subs did a, a very good job. I thought Luis, obviously, the goal, but he came in and, and solidified some things in there. Really dealt with some transition moments, and still kind of played forward and, and, and broke broke lines and gave us some attack and. Uh, for him to, you know, to, to score the goal is always it's, it's, uh, nice to see a guy like that score goals. After Sunday's high scoring game, how proud are you to see that the team carry that offensive momentum into this game? Granted, it took them a while to score after the first goal, but had 30 shots for the whole game. Yeah, um, again, just a, a good offensive night for us as far as getting to the box and, and getting looks. But, you know, if we have to we have to see those games out and make sure that it's it is two three we reward ourselves for those opportunities and the other night we did that we weren't as efficient tonight in front of the net uh, as we were but that happens in in, uh, in soccer and, and you have to see it out in different ways coach uh right here so one of the main critics from um you know after league's cup was that mls has weak defensive players or weak defensive line on most teams Obviously, Dynamo. That's not the case with the Houston Dynamo. Uh, how, how do you feel, or what, what do you think of those those types of critics when when they generalize with MLS regarding a certain uh, position? I, I, those are stemming mostly from kind of Messi coming in and, and doing what he's doing. Is that pretty much from League Cup? Basically, the critic was you know that uh, MLS teams in general have a bad def bad defense and that they focus more on the offense. Um. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I don't put a lot of stock in that. I mean, if you look at the results in the League Cup, I, you know, I don't want to get into MLS versus League MX, but I think the MLS fared pretty well, both defensively and offensively. So I don't I'm not going to get into those. Right. Uh, my next question is: uh, You brought in uh, Ibrahim Aliyu for the in the second half, and he had a few missed chances. How do you, how do you work with him to keep that confidence level up? He does a lot of good things. And he's just not, again, he's not uh, scoring goals in the way he wants to or, or we want to. It happens with forwards. But we had 30 shots. He didn't have all the 30 shots, did he? Right. He had one that he could have scored, but there's guys two here, two there. It's, it's not just on him. I know that he's a forward and he's been struggling. But uh, he put a really good shift energy-wise in. He kept the ball uh, uh, and, um, you know, he contributed to that win, and, and he did a good job. But he didn't score. He didn't score a goal, and you know he, we just keep working with him. We put him in front of net at training, and he keeps. Uh, it, it'll it, it'll come, and when it does, hopefully it comes in bunches because he's doing all these things to get him in good spots. And forwards don't even get into the spots, and he's he he runs well. He understands where to be, and and uh, the goals just aren't coming for him. We've got one more here in the room. Then we'll go to Jonathan Cycle here on Zoom. 
congratulations, coach, for the final, your first final with the team. But for the next game, do you you were gonna do a lot of changes because the playoff race is too close right now? Yeah, we, we want to put the best team possible out, and we'll, we'll get in tomorrow and, and figure out which team is uh, the the one that has the juice, but also the quality to, to get a result there. And it won't be easy, but uh, it's doable. And, and we have a lot of players in reserve that can play and are excited to get their opportunity. So we'll, we'll figure out the, w w what that looks like. Hi, coach. How you see this next rival on this final of the US Open Cup? We um, and all the people are talking about Messi, Jordi Alba, and you know this season that Inter Miami is coming now. Um, how do I feel about? Th well, they're not really our rival. Uh, they're in the East, and I, we haven't um, seen this version of of them. So we're looking forward to. Um, playing them, or it, it didn't matter who we're playing. We're just excited to be in the finals, and, and uh, we'll, we'll deal with them, you know, closer to the time that, uh, it, closer to the the time that we'll we'll play them, and, and maybe Messi has an appearance or something during that weekend. We uh, he could, I don't know. It'll be uh, it's fascinating. It's a fascinating, you know, the the way they've uh, transformed that team. Uh, but we won't spend a lot of time thinking about them right now. We we have a quick turnaround, and then in a couple uh, couple weeks or, or whenever this next game is, we'll we'll figure that out. Jonathan, we'll go to you here on Zoom. Go ahead. Thanks, guys. Um, ben, I just wanted to ask about Open Cup runs. You've you've experienced a few of these now uh, as a player, as a coach. Won a couple titles. What are some characteristics that tend to be kind of a through line? for teams finding success in this tournament? And how do you see those perhaps showing up with your Dynamo team this year? Uh, the, the journey, the, the Open Cup journey is, is a circus. I mean, it is, you know, to, 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 we, we should have lost to Tampa. Uh, the next game, I think we had a red, uh, we're, we, yeah, Minnesota, I think they had a red card. No, Kansas City. They had a, uh, that was the we had a red card and we, we we skirted by them, and then Minnesota comes in. They got a red card, so it is just uh, the first two or three games. It, it's a it's a wild ride, and then you kind of get into the quarters, and then you tighten it up, and uh, you you, you kind of go for it. And and then uh, obviously tonight uh, we put our best group forward and and got their results. So each each one that I've ever gone through, player or uh, as a player and a coach is just it's it's a wild ride that's all i can say you got re you know referees different types of referees uh, you're going to small cities uh, do you get a do you get the the home game versus the away game with a coin flip or however we're doing it so it, it's uh, to get here it takes a little luck and uh, but but again once you get into those quarters the, those games get get real and uh, I'm, I'm proud of these guys for getting through uh, the last two games go ahead Maggie um wild last few minutes on the pitch um knowing that you guys are playing them again this weekend yeah. what were your thoughts yeah hopefully it settles down in the next two days and uh, I think I think it's an emotional game and it there was a lot at stake and the fact that uh you know it, it got heated didn't surprise me uh, and you know, maybe this weekend gets heated. It's 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 part of playing back to back against uh, the same opponent. So we'll see. You know, we're glad we kept our heads, and, and uh, we we should have everybody uh, uh, still okay for the the next game in Miami. But uh, we got to be smart, and and but also go there and protect ourselves and be physical and and, and make sure we show up down there because uh, as you know, this gentleman said, it's we're still in a. Uh, a neck and neck race to make make the playoffs, and uh, our objectives to at this point is to win the Open Cup, and the other one is still to get in the postseason. And it's we're, we're there, but so is everybody else. Uh, we need we need points. All right, we'll wrap up with that one. Thank you very much, Ben. Thanks.